you know, despite the fact that a lot of people, for some reason, are still defending Jesse and saying that they're still not going to believe it until he himself comes out and says he's guilty, which is probably never going to happen. But even still, he's going to be facing some federal time. Hey, good morning, good evening, good night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Uh, so people are still trying to defend Jesse Smollett, even though it's almost definitive that he's going to go to federal prison. I have had, uh, uh, not definitive he's going to go to federal prison, he's going to face going to federal prison. Whether or not they actually send him uh, will be seen. I sure hope that they do. But people are incapable of challenging their belief system. I've had people on YouTube comment sections from two weeks ago where they left a comment saying, I believe Jussie 100%, 100%, 100%. So I commented, so you believe Jussie 300%, do you still believe him 300%? And they comment back saying something like, yep, I'm going to do exactly what, and they inserted racist thing against white people here, do, and until it comes out of his mouth. What? What sense does that make? So... Jesse Smollett was involved in creating racist letter, which later led to attack, sources say. Chicago, CBS. The two brothers involved in the Jesse Smollett attack told police that Smollett was behind creating a racist letter that was sent to the actor on the set of his show, Empire, according to two sources with first-hand knowledge of the investigation. And on one of my videos, I don't remember which one off the top of my head, I have pinned to the top... Uh, a comment saying we're going to find out that he mailed the letter to himself and that this whole uh, hoax is going back planning through months. I, I actually have that pinned at the top of my comment section. Uh, looks like that is going to be absolutely correct and uh, on the dot. And when that letter did not get a bigger reaction because, you know, go big or go home, Smollett orchestrated the attack a week later with the two men, Ola and Abel Osandario, sources said. Also Tuesday, sources said the two brothers were seen on a rideshare video camera before being dropped off near the location of the attack. Now here's the interesting thing. Even when the cops released that footage saying that these were persons of interest, they already knew who they were. They already knew who they were. They had already tracked them and their movements, the entire movements had been tracked from the time that they left their, their apartment all the way through. That's crazy. Uh, they kept it silent, they hid it, which is a pretty common police tactic. I just think that that is crazy. They knew everything from the very beginning. A tweet from, a tweet from Charlie DeMar, two separate sources confirmed Two brothers told police Jesse Smollett was involved in creating the threatening letter. Smollett had received a letter containing a white powder on January 22nd. The letter was mailed to Chicago Cinespace Studios, where the show Empire is filmed. The letter prompted a hazmat response. CPD says the white substance was later determined to be aspirin. Now, uh, I think we covered that before in another video that... Uh, Honestly, when they opened the letter, Jussie and his manager were wearing gloves already. So they were suspecting it. And if that letter had been mailed to me, I would have thought it was a little kid. I would have automatically called my manager, put gloves on, and opened it up. So, uh, very interesting. Uh, the return address is set as MAGA, of course, because you have to maximize the usage of MAGA. You have to make sure that MAGA is scrawled everywhere for every hate crime. Otherwise, your hate crime just isn't even possibly believable, I guess. Evidently. The note was crafted with letters apparently cut out from magazines to form words. The pieced together messages, message contained racial and homophobic threats directed at Smollett. A magazine is one of the pieces of evidence retrieved from the brothers' home last week during a search conducted by CPD. Investigators also recovered a book of stamps. And, uh, let, let me, uh, it won't let me expand that. Uh, yes, uh, on my Twitter there is a link to the pictures of both the letter and the, 
this right here, the description of the items that they took. You can go to my Twitter. The link will be in the description box and check it out. Smollett claims two men attacked him in Streeterville early January 29th as he was headed to his apartment. He said they yelled racial and homophobic slurs at him, poured a chemical on him, and put a rope around his neck. Now, yeah, really, yeah, just, God, why would you fake such a thing for attention? I don't understand why you needed that kind of attention. I just, how did you not think your story was going to fall through, Jesse? I mean, seriously, what were you thinking? I'm baffled. How did you think that this would possibly work out in your favor? With the sheer amount of cameras and the fact that your story is just outrageous, man. How did you think that it was going to play out? I don't, I don't understand that mindset. It kind of baffles me a little bit. Sources said one of the brothers held the rope and poured bleach while the other wore a plain red hat and yelled slurs at Smollett. And that would be the single red hat that they recovered from the brother's apartment. Sources say the red hat was bought at an uptown beauty supply store and that the attack was supposed to happen before January 29th. And the red hat did not say MAGA on it, by the way. It was just a, a, a plain red hat. It was for distance visual effects. I think perhaps they were thinking that they would maybe get on a camera and so they wanted a red hat for visual uh, visual effect so to speak the brothers told detectives the three men rehearsed the attack days prior to it happening smollett paid the brothers three thousand five hundred dollars with the promise of paying them five hundred dollars later breaking this is a tweet from brad edwards cook county sa kim fox has recused herself from investigations surrounding the jesse smollett case CBS too, and that's an interesting one. Why did she recuse herself? I will look into that, and maybe I'll do a video onto that, because that, that interests me. Why did she recuse herself? Uh, I'm sure you guys will leave in the comments why, but I definitely do want to do my own little investigation into it and see, see why it is that she recused herself. CBS 2, Brad Edwards reported, reports, the state's attorney, Kim Fox, has recused herself from the case. Acting state's attorney for the investigation will now be first assistant state's attorney Joseph Magatz. Maggots. Well, now, isn't that interesting? Maggots. Magatz. However you pronounce it. But look, uh, how, how, how apropos is that? Maga. Tss, Maga. That's, that's, just, that's, that's just funny. Coincidence. Chicago police say the FBI is handling the investigation surrounding the letter because that's a federal concern. And the FBI, from uh, sources, has been involved from the beginning. Uh, they're involved before this attack even happened because of the letter. Uh, so this is, this is some crazy, crazy stuff. Woo! You know what? Jesse, my man, you are screwed. You're done. You're toast. Pack it in. Because you, you're done. You, I hope he goes to federal prison, and here is why. If there are no consequences for his actions, we are going to see an uptick in the amount of fake hate crimes, hoaxes. And there are already a whole lot of them right now. If you go to fake uh, hatecrime.org, I believe it is, you will see a whole bunch. And um, I'm going to be doing a video later this evening where I visit it and I go over some of the cases that are there. It should be quite interesting. This is just... Well, he's got the attention he wanted, doesn't he? He has all of our attention. He's got the FBI's attention. And looks like hopefully pretty soon he will have some prison guards and prison inmates attention and I hope there are consequences because we can't let this propagate we can't let this go around if there are uh, no consequences people are gonna say hey you know what there's no there's no consequences I'm just gonna make a hate crime throw it against the wall and see what sticks anyways those are my thoughts I definitely want to hear your thoughts and your opinions on this Leave a comment on the, uh, uh, in the comments, give a like, give a subscribe, give a thumbs down, give a thumbs up, 
whatever you want to do, but join the conversation. That's how, that's how this works. If you don't comment and you don't join the conversation, nobody knows you exist, nobody knows your opinion, and hey, your opinion is worth being heard, isn't it? I mean, your opinion is valuable to you, right? Your opinion is valuable to me as well. Let it be known. That's it for me right now. I'm out of here. I will uh, definitely do a video later on about the fake uh, hate crimes. I'll go to the website. Uh, I think that's going to be quite interesting and fascinating to see just the sheer number of them uh, and the circumstances kind of surrounding them. So join me for that one. I am out of here for now, and you guys have a good one.